Welcome. In this video, we'd like to introduce you to FL Cloud Sounds. FL Cloud is a service that integrates online sample libraries and tools directly into FL Studio. The aim is to reduce your workload and distractions, providing more time to stay in the creative zone. We started this journey with Flex, our first web integrated product with online content. Later, we expanded the content to the library tab in the browser, allowing you to download things like samples without leaving FL Studio. The rapid adoption and heavy use of these features by our customers shows you love working this way. That's why we're excited by FL Cloud, as it combines everything that's good about the past, just bigger, better, and even faster. FL Cloud launches with three main features, sounds, mastering, and distribution. FL Cloud is built directly into FL Studio 21.2 and up. It is free to use, with the option of accessing additional features and content via monthly or yearly subscription or purchasing non-expiring credit packs. While we believe subscriptions are a great way to provide ongoing content and online services, we understand some may be concerned FL Studio will go subscription only. So we want to assure our customers, FL Studio will always include lifetime free updates and no one will ever be forced into a subscription to use FL Studio. Okay, let's make some music using everything FL Cloud has to offer. This means incorporating sounds into a track mastering it with our AI-powered mastering tool and finally sending it on its way for distribution. We'll start with sounds in this video and continue with the other features in following videos. You'll need to sign in to FL Cloud to start using it. Select the Sounds tab in the browser and then click here. If you've recently unlocked FL Studio, you'll automatically be signed in. If you're using the FL Studio trial, you'll need to make an account here. Let's start exploring sounds. There are three main subtabs Discover, Sounds, and Packs. Discover shows suggestions based on your individual preferences and search habits. You can browse our curated collections, packs, weekly top tens, and trending content. Sounds lets you select categories and look for one shots and loops. Use the search bar to search for content. Packs shows full sample packs categorized by genre and label. We'll look for a vocal sample to start our project. So I'll use the sounds option, select loops, click the search bar and type in vocal. Preview the sample by clicking play. Can't breathe when you with me. No and if you like it, press like download or drag it directly onto the playlist like this. Navigation works as you'd expect. Use the Play Next and Previous options to flick through sounds. Use the scroll wheel to browse and click on the pages below to see more results. If you make the browser wider, you can see additional information about the sample, namely key and BPM. Let me adjust my project tempo closer to the BPM tag of the vocal so it doesn't sound as time stretched. If these options are on in your FL Cloud settings, you will hear all loop previews stretch to your project tempo and pitch shifted to your selected key. When you drag them into FL Studio, they will already be stretched and pitch shifted too. Can breathe when you with me, know how it feels like intoxicated me, know how it feels like. Click here for double time or half time previews. The sync BPM option here is handy for turning this off on the fly if needed. Same as in the browser, you've got a dedicated volume control for all previews here. To avoid overstretched previews, you can filter the search by key and BPM. The samples I already have are in G sharp or A flat major or enharmonically F minor. I'll use the project percentage option in the BPM tab to make sure all results are close to my project BPM. 
so they will still sound good after stretching. If you're having trouble finding something you like, try organizing the results differently. The organization options are useful when you find yourself making identical searches within a short period of time. It helps you find different results without having to browse through multiple pages of sounds you've already heard. Select from the list or click the randomize option to roll the dice. To speed things up, I've saved the sounds I'll be using in this project to the wishlist by giving them a heart. The wishlist is especially useful for credit users in case you're not quite ready to commit to a sample yet. Sounds you've downloaded are shown here. Let's look for some one shots next. Kick. This trial chains on me. I know it feels like snare. Can't breathe when you with me. Know how it feels like intoxicated me. Know how it feels like hats. Can't breathe when you it feels like intoxicated me. Know how it feels like an 808. For the 808, let's make it an instrument track instead, so that we can play along to the chord progression. Please note, any effects that have been added won't be discussed in this video. Check out the Mixing Basics series for a lengthy rundown on this process. By the way, you can look for any sounds you've downloaded in the Sounds folder in the All tab of the browser. Once they are in the list of your downloaded files here, they're yours to keep and re-download if you need them again. What if you have a sound that is almost there but could use some editing? Each sound has a menu with options such as pitch correcting and time warping, which opens the samples with FL Studio plugins. Note, choosing these options on a sound you don't have on your computer yet will download it before opening. Use this option to report samples. Reporting stuff helps us improve, so don't be afraid to use this feature where necessary. You can do it if you find a sample in the wrong key or BPM, for example. For the rest of the menu, you can find full documentation in the FL Studio user manual. Let's add some more percussions and sound effects from FL Cloud to build and release tension, completing the track. In time lapse, of course, you've seen how this goes. No need to show everything 50 times. If you use the right search parameters, it's pretty easy to find stuff that fits together. No, I would know how we like. No. And that is everything about FL Cloud Sounds, so far. New FL Cloud features and sounds will continue to be added in the future. We hope you enjoy your new samples and are as excited as us to see where FL Cloud is headed. As always, we've provided the link to the demo project made for this tutorial in the video description. Also check this for links to the user manual and further videos in this series. Happy music making! <laughs>